Alright, good day everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we'll be talking about direct distance from a line to a point, and this is analytic geometry, and this is welcome to Casaligan Lungs. Alright, so the distance from a, a line to a point, so this is a theorem that the sign distance from the line AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero to the point X once y sub 1 is given by the formula d is equal to ax1 plus by1 plus c over the square root of positive and negative a squared plus b squared. So this is the formula for the distance from a line to a point. So where the sign of the radical is chosen to be opposite to the sign of c. So the sign of c opposite, okay. So note if c is equal to 0, choose the sign of the radical to be the same as the sign of b. This will make d positive when p1 lies above the line. If c is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0, choose the sign of the radical to, make, to be same as the sign of a. So these are the node. So this will make the d positive where p1 is to the right of l. And it should be noted that D is positive if the origin O and the point one, point 1 lie on the opposite sides of the given line. For example, this part, if this is my Cartesian plane, if this is the line, okay, this is the line, and this is the point here, all right, this is the point, and this is the point here. So this is our origin and the point. So if D is positive, if the origin and the point lie on the opposite of the side of the given, sides of the given line. So opposite yeah, direction here and here. So these are, the, the distance is positive at this time because the opposite sides of the given line so the origin and the point if this negative when o and p1 lie on lies on the same line example for this one if we're going to illustrate this so this one so if this is the point here distance here this is the point and this is the origin so therefore d is negative or the distance is negative where when o and p1 lie on the same side so the same side lang po siya unlike here opposite sides of the given line okay so we have here distance between two parallel lines so d is equal to the c prime minus c over the square root of a squared plus b squared and this is absolute because you're going to take the distance only all right so let us have first find the direct distance from x minus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0 to the point negative 3 and 2 so the first thing that we're going to do here is we have to graph okay and we have here the graph given the graph here so this is the line and this is the point negative three two so what we expect here is the the result should be uh, a negative because the the point and the origin is in the same a side okay so understood but we have to choose uh, use the rule of the rule that when the opposite of the sign of c so we have here the distance okay so the given is x minus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0 and the point negative 3 and 2 here is the illustration so to take the distance we have here the formula ax sub 1 plus by sub 1 plus c over the positive and negative square root of a squared plus b squared. So d is equal to what is our equation? x minus 2y minus 2 over uh, since uh, the opposite of the sine of c. So we have to take this one as our positive. So if this is our C, the sign is negative and the opposite is positive. So the square root of what is our A? Our A here is in the one here. This is our A, right? This is our A and this is our B and this is our C. Therefore, we have A, which is one squared. And our B is plus negative two squared. 
since that is uh, to the point negative 3, 2, so we have to substitute here the value for x and y. So this is our x and y. So we have to substitute here. So this is negative 3 minus 2 times the y of 2 minus 2 over positive the square root of, this is 1 squared, 1 and plus 4. So the result of this part is negative 3 minus 4 minus 2 over the square root of 5. So therefore we have here negative 9 over the square root of 5. Uh, we have to rationalize this one, the square root of 5 here, and the square root of 5. So therefore, we have here negative 9, the square root of 5 over 5. Or shall we say we have the result of negative 4.02. Okay, so this is the answer for number 1. And let's proceed now with number 2. Find the directed distance from 3x plus 4y minus 24 is equal to 0 to the point 0.65. So, in this case, uh, we could say that the distance is positive because the origin and the point is not on, is the opposite side are not in the same line, same of the sides of the line. So, we have here the result to find the directed distance. So, first is we have the given, we have 3x plus 4y minus 24 and equals 0 and the point of 6 and 5. So this is our A is 3, our B is 4, our C is negative 24. In this case, we have X is 6 and Y is 5. So this R is the given. Okay. So by using the formula, D is equal to 3X plus 4Y minus 24 over the side of this one is negative, so we have to take it positive, the opposite of C. And which is our A3 squared, our B is plus 4 squared. So we have here 3, we have 6 uh, plus 4 times 5 minus 24 over positive the square root of 9 plus 16. Alright, so we have here the result of... 18 and this is plus 20 minus 24 over this positive square root of 25. So we have here the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So therefore we have the result is 18 plus 20 minus 24 that's equal to 14 over 5 or shall we say we have 2.8. All right. So this is the distance. Oh, by the way, this is the shortest distance from a point to a line. Again, this is the shortest distance that creates a 90 degrees or perpendicular distance. The shortest perpendicular distance from the point to a line. So uh, this is the shortest, which is D is equal to 2.8. That makes it perpendicular. Alright, so we have here number 3, find the directed distance from 3x plus y is equal to 0 to the point to 4. Since c is, uh, since c is not uh, found here because we don't have c here in the equation, 3x plus y is equal to 0 and the point is 2 and 4, so this is our x and y. So the sign of C is our basis. Since we don't have C, so the sign same as the sign of B. So same as the sign of B. Since this is positive, so we will take the square root as positive. So our D is equal to 3x plus y over positive. Since positive, I'm adding B. So the square root of, what is our A? Our A here is E. 3 and the B is 1. So we have here 3 squared plus 1 squared. That is equal to, the point here is x, y. So 3 times 2 plus y is 4 over positive the square root of 9 plus 1. So this is the answer. 
is equal to we have 6 plus 4 over the square root of 10. So we have here square root of 10 over the square root of 10. So we have to rationalize this one. Okay, so rationalize. So we have here 10 square root of 10 over 10. Cancel this part. So we have square root of 10. Positive. So, so our D is equal to square root of 10 or shall we say we have 3.16. So this is the shortest distance that creates a per shortest perpendicular distance between the point to a line, which is D is equal to 3.16. All right, so we have here number four. Find the distance between two parallel lines whose equations are 3x minus y minus 10 is equal to zero and 3x minus y is equal to zero. So these are the lines. So if we're going to graph this, these are the lines. So we have here, okay, for, this is for 3x minus y minus 10 is equal to 0. And this is for 3x minus y is equal to 0. So okay. So again, this is for 3x minus y minus 10 is equal to 0. And this part of the line is 3x minus y is equal to 0. Since it passes through the origin, that we know that the line passes through the origin, we don't have the value for c. Okay, so that's it. So we have here to take the distance of this one, we have to get the c and the c prime. Our c is equal to, okay, we don't have c. So we have here 0 and our C prime is negative 10. So our A here in both equations is 3 and our B is equal to negative 1. So taking the distance, the absolute of C prime minus C over the square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay, so what is our C prime which is the absolute negative 10 minus 0 over the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared. So our D here is negative uh, 10. Uh, since we have to take the absolute, we have the square root of 9 plus 1, we have 10. So we have here 10 over the square root of 10. We have to rationalize this part. Okay, rationalize. So the result of this part is 10 square root of 10 over 10. Cancel. So we have here a square root of 10 is equal to 3.16. Okay, so that's it. How to find the distance between two lines, parallel lines. Those equations uh, creates a 90 uh, shortest uh, distance. It is perpendicular. Shortest per perpendicular distance between line, parallel lines. Okay, so let's proceed now with number 5. Find the distance between the parallel lines whose equations are x minus 2y is equal to 9 and 2x minus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So first is we have to take what is our c prime and c. So let's have c as first equation. So we have to translate this first. x minus 2y minus 9 is equal to 0. So this is negative 9. Our C prime is equal to positive 12. Our A for both here is uh, here. So we have here, in this case, 2x minus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. We could reduce this one as x minus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0. So let us have first this one as r. 6. So we have to reduce since we have this is parallel lines. So a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 2. So taking the distance, the absolute, so we have your c prime and c over the square root of a squared plus b squared absolute. So we have your c prime which is 6 uh, minus negative 9 over, okay, uh, the square root of 1 squared plus negative 2 squared. 
So absolute you have here 15 square root absolute of the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared that is 4 5 okay plus 5 square root of 5 so we have here the distance is equal to 15 square root of 5 to rationalize so we have here rationalize so we have here 15 square root of 5 over 5 cancel this part so we have the result is 3 square root of 5 so our distance here is and this is 6.71 so I find the distance between parallel lines whose equations are this part okay so thank you so much for listening and try this at home find the direct, direct distance from the given line to the point and for letter B find the distance between the following parallel lines so thank you and good luck good luck and god bless everyone i hope you learned something today thank you and see you for the next videos and watch again subscribe castle again